We're running this mini gen, cold start. We're right now at 3 amps and 12, 13 volts. Here, let's go here to 13 volts, right there. Okay, about 13. And amp wise, we're running 3 amps. And let's go on up here and take a look at the flow gauge. You can see it right there at 3 amps and roughly 13 volts. And of course you can see down below where it's coming out. This is cold start. And here's the unit itself and I think I can hear a little bit of gas escaping. Let's go down here and listen careful. Well, you're hearing the power supply, but there's a little gas escaping right here. So we'll tighten this plug up just a little bit. It's a little hard holding the camera and tightening this up, but we'll do it. That's the fill-in viewport, by the way, that I'm tightening up. There we go. So here we have the fill-in viewport. Here's the gas out. Here's the ground, center ground. Here's the water in, here's the water solenoid right there, and over the top is the water solenoid and liquid level sensor control, and right here in the center where these black wires are located, right here, that double wire at the end of my finger, that goes to the liquid level sensor, and this is the ground wire, which is the common ground wire for the solenoid, the water solenoid control relay right here on the side and also the common ground here for the power relay right there so when you turn on the power switch what it does is it closes this relay and then brings in the full 12 volts directly through the relay and into the anode of the gen and at the same time it applies power over here to the solenoid and it applies power down here to the liquid level sensor switch right here and when that level sensor switch completes its circuit, then the power is able to come up through the solenoid, out of the solenoid, and then eventually it comes through the relay and comes out here to power your electric pump. And at the same time, it controls the relay, the solenoid, and all the other stuff here. But if you'll notice now, on the Series 9B, there are no outside bolts on the outside like the old A series. I got water spilled on it. That's not leaking from the unit, believe me. Alright, and what it is now is you can now mount your unit from four places on the bottom and two on the top. And we also have a new optional fan that's coming in that'll actually fit right here and hang down off the side and blow air across the unit and it'll fit right off of these holes right in here a small 60 millimeter DC 12 volt DC fan that'll go right in here and blow air across it to get it a little bit cooler for you and of course you can either mount it down here on the bottom on this side that side the front side that side or over here on the top and hang it down because you've now got all these extra bolt holes where you can mount your entire unit anywhere you want to mount it so you haven't got to hang with the studs and stuff you can we supply the bolts so you can mount it anywhere you want now just make up your metal brackets but that's what it looks like, okay, and that is the Series 9B. Looks very much like the Series 9, except now it's all center controlled. The cathode is in the center, the anode is still on the side down here, and now we pull the whole thing together with one center bolt now, instead of the four around the outside, and that center bolt also serves as it goes through the center, through the cathode, and it also serves to clamp the unit together, and it also serves as the entire ground, which comes out down here. Here's the entire ground, which comes out here, and of course is connected to the power supply, which you can see right there, there's the power supply. It's clamped onto it. And of course, our other voltage comes in, our main voltage comes in and feeds it right here, and that of course is over to the red alligator clip off of the uh, generator. This is not running on a battery. This is running strictly on a generator. You know, a power generator. 
and variable and that's all it's doing and still right now as you can see it's still running 3 amps and the voltage is still 13 volts top scale 3 amps bottom scale and we're putting out gas and if we follow the line up we can see our little Dumahaji there is between the one roughly about the just just about the one one and a quarter liters per minute is what it's doing right at the moment and here's the temperatures we'll get this on the temperature gun and we'll shoot the gun and get a temperature and you can see right now the unit is 73 degrees max it's reading 74 72 now it says 74 max that's the, the unit the case of the unit how warm it is we'll hit it again I might have aimed it wrong before it's even less it's now here we go 73 75 right in there alright we'll let it clear and once it clears we'll shoot again and we'll try to get there we go there's our outbound gas there it is so the gas coming out is 80 degrees Fahrenheit maximum is where it is 79 80 degrees and this has been running four or five minutes and there you can see for yourself and if you look over the edge there's the gas coming out right there and that's only at three amps it doesn't look like much but believe me there's a lot of gas coming out of there you wouldn't think so but there is believe me because if you follow it up you'll see right there with the gauge she's pulsating it's not steady it pulsates so this is the way it's reacting now it's going to hang a little bit then it'll start going it's not a steady stream with HHO it bubbles and burbles is what it does. It's not like a steady stream coming out of there like if you crack the valve on a propane torch or something. Because you got to remember this is non-regulated. It's just coming out after it's being made and it's pushing itself out through the gauge and then it's pushing itself out down into the jug into a column of water. So it has to work harder to get this out. If it was in free air it would be another story. But I just want you to see it is making the gas. And to show my point I'm going to focus on this and we'll light a fire and now you tell me water don't burn there you go water does burn when you put current to it and make it into hydrogen and oxygen so there you go that's only 3 amps 13 volts now imagine when it warms up or if you charge to cold start at 6 amps 13 volts and this hasn't even warmed up yet alright but that will give you some basic idea of what's going on and there is a series 9 mini gen that's it right there as you see it looks just like a series 8 only it's configured a little bit differently and now it's held together by a single center post instead of the four outside ones which gives you a place to hang options and also an easier way to mount it and hang it because you got pre-drilled holes already there and we supply the bolts and nuts to go in the holes so that ain't too bad so that's about it so thank you much have a good day don't work too hard